Alright guys, welcome back. So, I got another one for you today. I've had this for <laughs> probably about a week or so. Just been kind of sitting on it waiting. Um, I First of all, I, I just want to thank you guys. Uh, a few goals we reached. Uh, over a million views. Uh, total. A million views total. Uh, you guys are doing great. This month we're up like 10%, which is... That's phenomenal for me. I couldn't ask for more. Well, we can always ask for more, right? But that that's great. I just want to thank you guys for watching, for uh, sticking by me. Uh, we're going to keep going the way we go. Keep doing what we do. If you guys have questions, comments, uh, something you'd like to see, drop your comment down below. I'll do what I can. Uh, if it's something I already have, something you've seen, and you want to see something different, or an amp with uh, a certain sub or whatever drop that comment down below uh, I appreciate you um, and that's how I show my appreciation another reason how or another way I show my appreciation uh, giveaways I've already done two I've given away a power acoustic gothic 12 inch and I gave away uh, American bass elite 12 uh, they were both completely free giveaways that's how I plan to do it in the future we have a ways to go to get to the next giveaway I'm gonna probably start the giveaway but it's gonna be a ways to get to the end of the giveaway because I'm giving you guys 10% back of what I make and as slow as I go that's as slow as it goes my first giveaway was I did a thousand subscribers so that was very fast as soon as I had a thousand subscribers we did the giveaway that wasn't there wasn't much criteria based on it uh, the second giveaway was uh, around 10% of what I made and that happened to be uh, I started a little bit after a thousand subscribers and ended it around th at 3,000 subscribers so it went quite a stretch there uh, this one, I don't want to start and have it going for months and months and months and months. I'd rather just start it and have it going for maybe a month and then end it. Uh, so it's not just an ongoing thing that everybody forgets about. I want everybody to still be involved in it and I want to continue doing them in the future. Uh, we got to keep growing, guys. So let's keep growing. Let's keep getting there. Next month, I'd like to say, hey, guys, we're at 15% or we're at 20%. That'd be awesome subscribers are going up so that's awesome too uh, subscribers are actually about 10% a month which is that's crazy so all across the board we're about 10% right now up so let's get into this here I already got the razor yep uh, max sonics BRW 12 d4 it's not all uh, it's not actually a max sonics subwoofer um, it's it is the BRW 12 d4 uh, I noticed something when I was looking at these the d4 was $40 less than the d2 version which is why I got the d2 the d4 version I'm not sure why and I've noticed that in a few different uh, car audio places that the uh, either the d4 or the d2 is more money or less money either or and I'm not sure why, because technically they're really the same components throughout the speakers, so there shouldn't be a reason why one is more than the other or the opposite of that, why one is less than the other. They should be the same price across the board. So, let's see here. That. Uh, okay, a box and a box. I like it. I always like the box in a box. That way, even if I uh, I do try to sell these after I'm done with them, uh, Facebook Marketplace. That's where you'd find me. All right. So this is one of them. Uh, let's see what they have here on top. This is one of them. Uh, them foam thingies where they have the styrofoam where they have the sub and styrofoam which I'm not complaining about it's an awesome way to have the sub travel so this is just a basic box 
I mean a basic uh, instruction manual, given all the parameters and stuff, uh, mounting hole, uh, cutout, uh, size of the box, the port, port length, port surface, uh, sealed enclosure, vented enclosure. So it goes all the way from the, they make a 6 in this, an 8, a 10, a 12, and they break 12 twice, I'm not sure why, because all the parameters are exactly the same, uh, and 15 twice. So they must only make one 6 inch size, one 8 inch size, one 10 inch size, like in size I mean D4, D4, D4. And the 12, they make a D2 and a D4. And the 15, they make a D2 and a D4. Huh, that's, that's different. Most companies make them both either way. Oh, Caleb, Caleb, Caleb. He's supposed to take this home. All right. Or in his car. All right, here we go. Let's see if I can get this out by myself. the camera's on the sub now because I know I had it a little bit higher so you guys can see me that's uh, another speaker I just did a custom uh, neo sub harsh audio should be getting another harsh audio hopefully soon he said he was waiting for the, uh, the emblem for the top I think you said you got it. Okay, so this, uh, exactly like the Punisher. And that's the only speaker I've gotten like this, was the Punisher and I think the K9. So this company must be, Hyphonics must be somehow related to Rockville. That's my best guess. Related to Rockville. Alright, so. Let's see here. And again, I said this is the V4 version. Now, let's see what we got for power here. I'm not sure what the, what the phone piece is on me here. Um, power, power, power. Okay, here we go. Uh, okay, so the 1000 RMS and 2000 max. So just by looking at it, I'm going to say it's probably going to hit those marks. Uh, I'm, yeah, it's probably going to hit those marks. It's going to, it, it'll take 1,000 RMS. And, uh, okay, get our little packet out of here. Get the little packets in here. Make sure you get your packet out. The camera on here? Okay. I've been looking at the speaker since they came out. They came out, mm, I want to say a year ago. It might be, it might be longer, it might be shorter. So first noticeable thing, uh, the shiny whole paper cone here, uh, the poly dust cap, and this beefy rib surround kind of reminds me of the Elite and the XFL. Very reminiscent of the XFL. It's actually. Uh, the XFL, I think, had a larger surround than the Elite, and this one actually looks very much like the, uh, the XFL, and it's fairly heavy. I'm going to say, uh, maybe 30 pounds? Let's see if they sit inside the book here. Maybe. So they even give the voice coil in millimeters. So 
voice coil on this is 70, 76 millimeters. So the voice coil on the 10, the 12, and the 15 are all the same voice coil. 76. And I guess 76, that must be 3. Let's see here. Seventy-six millimeters equals how many inches? Seventy-six millimeters is two point nine nine two inches. Two point nine nine two inches. All right. So it, they say it's a three-inch coil, but it's actually two nine nine two inches. All right. So we got our. This is a cast aluminum basket. Here is my. magnet so if this is steel it won't stick or it will stick it's not steel so it doesn't stick all right uh, let's see terminals terminals 10 gauge 10 gauge terminals and these have got some very beefy This. I'm gonna say this is eight millimeter. I'm gonna say probably eight millimeter uh, tinsel leads sewn on there. Yep. Very nicely done. I actually watched a uh, a video today on how to build a subwoofer, and you know just watching things like that it makes you even more fascinated with how this produces sound and how it comes to be and how it does what it does and every day I, I listen to music I'm just more fascinated by these speakers every time I every time I listen to them um, so we can see our voice coil down there it's got pl plenty of venting here uh, there's no screen or anything, but that's cool. I mean, the screen is helpful, but it's not necessarily needed. Um, so this has both a pole vent and voice coil vents. Very cool. Uh, that's all in the top plate here, the bottom plate here. Um, very, very intrigued by this. And it looks like the spider ring comes you can drill it or take it right off so I don't know if, I don't think they make recone kits but that's something that they probably could do and you could install it very easily and that would be a very good possibility actually looking at that video today I I really want to build a subwoofer for myself and just see all the mechanics involved in it because there's really a lot involved in putting it together and uh, some of it is less than what you'd even think it was. So I'm going to get my camera. There's my baby. Alright, so I'm going to get my camera. Alright, so there's the tinsel leads. 8 millimeter, like I said. Very nice. The pulp paper cone. Very nicely done. Now I think this thing is going to sound phenomenal. Just by looking at it and the way that it looks, it's going to sound phenomenal. And uh, it's going to put out some nice bass and some strong bass. I think it's going to be up to an equivalent around where the, the Elite was. Let me see if I can tip it there. I think it's on the... There we go. Okay, I have to hold it. Okay, there we go. So, there's our BW12D4, dual 4 ohm, 1200, or uh, 1000 and 2000 peak, Hyphonics. Oh, I forgot to say this was the Hyphonics BRW. So, this is the Brutus. That's what all the, the letters are about the Hyphonics Brutus BRW. Um, like I said, the 10. 10 gauge wire, the terminals here, 10 gauge terminals, 
very nicely uh, nice springs inside and uh, one of the things that I noticed about some of the better sounding speakers is that they have a very low uh, platform right here this platform from here to here is very low um, and they just produce a great sound I think better than some of the the taller speakers just because it's tall doesn't make it better or sound better or anything like that these sound phenomenal and I can't wait to get in the box we're gonna to listen to it I'm gonna put it in the two and a half cubic foot box and we're gonna get it going we're gonna throw some power at it so we'll be right back guys stay tuned don't go anywhere all right and if you haven't liked the video already I thank you much for it we'll see you back in a minute all right guys I don't know if this gets a little bit better picture or not but I wanted to do a video with this camera also oops sorry about that uh, and I got another camera but I'm trying to actually look for a camera online right now this actually does look like a better picture in the camera now I don't know what it does for uh, for subwoofer wise while the subwoofer is moving I'm gonna shoot this video for my first time ever I'm gonna do the same video with both cameras and put it in one video now let's see we just did a video looking at the tin yeah so you can even see the tinsels better with this camera so yeah it eight millimeter tinsels uh, 10 gauge wire for the, the terminals uh, and I have two lights behind me too I got an extra light now that I got for viewing so yeah so you can read everything on the bottom there yeah this camera is a lot better for shooting wise I don't know about the frame rate wise that's what I'm curious about and that's why I'm gonna shoot it and with the two different cameras and see how it works out so uh, this is the Hyphonics Brutus and like I said the pulp cone uh, poly dust cap here and this beefy beefy surround they have on it which we're gonna start flexing very soon I'm gonna put it in the box and see how it sounds I'm gonna put it on some tar ramps maybe I'll put it on some NVX I'd like to try the power acoustic uh, razor too just to see what it sounds like I'm curious all right, so we'll be back, guys. I'm going to get this installed in the box, and I'm excited to hear it. We'll be back. Eden. All right, guys. Welcome back. Subs and pause. So we got the Hyphonics Brutus BRW12D4 wired to 2 ohms. Uh, it's on the tar ramps. HD 3000 right now. We're gonna start off with some sweeps here. I just wanted to see what it's doing for power. So 133 was the peak there. I've been doing this for a little while, doing some sweeps, 20 to 40 hertz. Seems like every time it goes, it goes one more up. Now, I, I'm telling you, this is going to be another one of them speakers that the more you play it, the better it's going to sound. The more, the more you play it, the better it's going to sound.
down one volume here. Back. This is a commercial. Trying to uh... All right. Let's see what we're getting here now. Seven hundred there. Nine ohms. Fourteen ninety two, the year Christopher Columbus sailed. So that's fifteen hundred watts right there. Thousand watt RMS. I forgot to mention that I didn't. I did in the beginning of the video. But a thousand RMS, two thousand watts max. And we're sitting here doing fifteen twenty six. Oh, that just went off. Okay, so let's see here. All right, that's the, everything else is still on, right? Yeah. All right, so I want to switch up here. I can find my other one. Seriously, he's trying to stand up. Yeah. Yeah. Can you stand up? I'm talking about my grandson in the background. If that's who you're wondering, who's talking? That's my son talking about my grandson. So, let's see, <laughs> gotta set this, I'm glad I looked over here, because we're not even on. Dino power, let's see what we can get for a high number here. seen from high phonics and it's moving air two of these things I mean one of them is really loud with two of them would definitely be showstoppers
All right, what do we got here? All right, so 1441, so around 1500 watts again. All right, so we're gonna reset that. I'm gonna try just a, a song here and see what we get for a song. Seven seventy one. So, my next video, I'm going to be I'll be bringing this in my car and seeing what it sounds like in my car. So I'm going to beat this up in my car for a little bit. We're going to see what it does in my car for a little while. Uh, I'm excited to hear it in the car. And let me take care of this here. And uh, I'm going to put on some power in the car. And uh, really excited to hear this Hyphonics. Somebody had mentioned something about a uh, Hyphonics amp. Uh, I don't know if they're going to send it to me or what, but that would be awesome. Uh, so that would be pretty cool. Uh, what was I going to say? Uh, but as always, guys, as uh, take care of yourselves and each other. Uh, stay tuned for the next video. Don't go nowhere. We'll be right coming back behind you. And as always, peace.